consider it a real honor to have Brittany and her friends lead the jam today. Uh, and um, I don't think I have anything else to say. So take it away and, and have fun. Cool. Thanks so much for having us. We're excited to get the chance to do this. I'm Brittany, obviously. This is Paul Coart. Normally you might recognize him with the bass, but now he's playing guitar. And this is Mike Geisbacher on the bass. And we're here in East Nashville and excited to play some tunes with you. So we're going to start in the key of G. Good old G major. And um, we're going to start off with the tune Sugar in the Coffee, which I learned from the P.T. Bell recording. It's a three-part tune. Um, and the C part does not repeat, just so you know. And uh, I think I've heard slightly different chord cho choices on this so you'll you'll hear what paul is choosing to do and uh follow along okay here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
people, some people are saying that it seems not very loud. Can you turn up the gain on the mic a at all? Yes, that is possible. Try it there. Okay, we'll try it there. And that was, that was great. Okay, cool. Sweet. So that was that tune. I love that tune. Um, next, try this one. Old Aunt Jenny with her nightcap on. Um, I'm seeing some nods. Maybe that means you know it already. Um, I learned it from the Estel Bingham version. Um, and I was playing it in a different key, but I realized that it's meant to be in G, I think. So we'll play it in G. Two parts. Um, and we'll start the B part on a four chord for all the guitar people out there. And this is a little crooked, but it, like it's one of those melodies where it doesn't totally sound crooked unless you count. Um, mm -hmm.
one. Oh yeah. Next, I was thinking we would do. Um... Oh, the name of that again was Old Aunt Jenny with her nightcap on from Estelle Bingham. Um, yeah. Next, I was thinking we do an Ed Haley tune in honor of the great box set that just came out. Um, the Jenny Lynn Polka, um, also in G. Also features Jenny. Oh yeah, Jenny again. This is maybe the same Jenny. I don't think so. No? She could do with Polka <laughs> with her Jenny. nightcap on. <laughs> okay, so. Oh yeah. That one? Yeah. Cool. One, two, I want two, three, four. <laughs> Boy, he ain't no fool. He does. He's courting on a long-haired mule. 
finish that again. <laughs> the Jimmy Driftwood song. Oh yeah, Jimmy Same. Driftwood. I was listening to his version of Hunt the Buffalo today. He Did you know he played fiddle too? Uh, I did not know that. Yeah. P.T. Barnum mm. pa- paid Jenny Lind $1,000 per week in 1850. Whoa. Okay. I'd like to know more about that. Um, okay, we're going to try the tune Shipping Port. And I know there's like a bunch of different versions of this, but I learned the one from that Kentucky box set. Um, it comes from Jimmy Johnson's string band, I believe. Um, and it's a little crooked and neither of them have probably ever heard it before. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know how good my chart is, but good luck. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Or I'll do a, some tapers. Can I do it with some time through this? Sure. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that was a bit of a jam buster, but it looked like you guys were still playing along. <laughs> nice work. Okay, next up, key of D, if that's cool with y'all to take it up, fifth, play some D tunes. Do you want to do that one when you're playing bass, or do you want to just do it now? Just do it now. Okay, let's play Cumberland Gap. Um, yeah. Learn this one from Tommy Gerald. Guys, got any any thoughts you want to share? I think this is pretty cool. It's very cool. I want to actually see. It's a good idea. It's a, and also, it's just my speed, as you can tell, if you can hear the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's try some Cumberland Gap. Yeah.
Okay. Um, everybody doing good? Mmm. Tony in Kentucky. Cool. Okay, next up, um, Deer Walk. Uh, and it'll be nice, I think, to play this a little slower, because sometimes it just gets played very, very fast, and it's really hard to keep up and get all those notes in there. Um, so I got this, I guess, well, I, I learned it from Bruce a long time ago, but I kind of, like, re-got it from the Doc Roberts version. Um. Out there. to want to go a little bit faster so just trying to find a good balance there just at the deer's walking pace um okay i was thinking next we could play indian eight woodchuck i, I kind of like Ed Haley. i'm sorry what i kind of like him down there i kind of like the team down there yeah no it's You're great right. i think i just i like it's so hard to fight the momentum or something what are you saying? I just said I liked your idea. I liked the I liked it slow. I like the deer walking. <laughs> okay. 
Moving right along. That tune? So it's kind of another notey one. Um, three parts. And the B part does not repeat. But you probably already know that. Okay. <laughs> Like, 
Maybe. I didn't think so, but maybe sometimes. I'm wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong. No, I bet somebody in there has heard it that way. No? No. No. Okay, actually, they He's know wrong. everything, so He's you're wrong. wrong. <laughs> oh, too bad. Those are the L.A. Haley chords. They're cool. Kind of hip, kind of different. Yeah. I like the chart for this one. Well, yeah. <laughs> do you want to do that one or do you want us to skip it? Let's skip it. Okay. Skip that. Okay. So now is like a choose your own adventure moment because I don't know if we should go to A. We have like 20 more minutes. Or what do you guys think about going to F? Is that? Yeah? Good? Okay. Cool. Just for a couple because there aren't that many things there. That's just but. because I play ukulele and it's the best key ever. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, awesome. So I was thinking we could do um, this tune, the Crystal Stream Waltz. Um, James Ryan plays it, right? Is that where you learned it? No, Brad Leftwich, Dan Gellert. Oh, okay. Moment in time. And is somebody playing harmonica? Or am I misremembering that? No, I think I played harmonica on it. Okay. If that's what you remember. Okay, cool. I, I looked it up today on Slippery Hill, and I, it was the version from a guy named um, Dean Johnston from somewhere in the Ozarks. Um, but it's a waltz in the key of F. It has two parts. Um, they don't repeat. They're just, like, long sections. And I'm going to look at my notes a little bit so I don't forget how it goes. Oh, and it has an A major chord in the B part in case you don't know this tune yet. That's that's the weird one. Six major. A one, two, three, one, two.
a totally different B part, right? Like it doesn't have the A chord? Well, there's no chordal instrument. Oh, yeah, it's just two fiddles. Yeah. Okay, that's why. Anyways, thanks for rolling with it there. <laughs> I was getting dirty looks when it went back to the one chord. <laughs> okay, so that was that one. Um, and then another tune that has been kind of like popping up in my world a lot lately is that tune Chirps and Williams. Um, that is also in the key of F. And um, I don't know. I'm not sure how it ended up where, like, everybody seems to be playing it right now. But it's written by Calvin Volrath, the Canadian fiddler. And then, and it's after Chirp Smith, right? Cool. Do you guys know anything more about it? Like, when he wrote it or why or who Williams is? I think they were at uh, Montana Fiddle Camp, maybe. And Chirps was there, and there's two different Williams, I think. There's a guy named Mike Williams and Stuart Williams from Seattle. We're both there. So oh, there's wow. Williams in the plural. Chirps nice. and Williams. That's what I heard. So. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely making the rounds in Nashville right now. I played it on Halloween. But neither of you guys were there. Or maybe you were there. Were you playing at that point? I don't remember. <laughs> Yes. Okay, maybe a little slower than that. One, uh...
Oh, it's German. Swingy. <laughs> Yay! Cool. You guys all doing good? It's 11.32. No, somebody asked, wanted the last four digits of your phone number for the- Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> um, okay. More choices to be made. I think we should just go to A and finish out in A if that's yeah, cool. Yeah, and, and feel free to go longer if you feel like it, if you have more tunes. There's no there's no ending time. We'll stay here as long as you want to play. So. Okay. okay. And Brittany, do you want to say anything about the teaching you're doing now? Oh, yeah. Just if anybody's interested in um, fiddle learning, um, I have a new thing, a uh, course through the website Artist Works. Um, which has a bunch of bluegrass musicians already teaching on there, as well as many other genres. And Daryl Anger also teaches on there. He's the fiddle teacher on there right now. But they're about to launch my course. Um, Pre-sales are up now, and, and it's going to be like actually um, accessible for everybody in December. So if, if you want to learn some stuff, um, there's some old-time tunes, some bluegrass tunes, and like other fiddle technique kind of stuff and just kind of like a, a broad overview of like everything that I wanted to show people I don't know like sort of what I feel like I is unique to my playing or whatever um and some of the genres that I love playing and uh yeah it kind of like spans all levels so it's it's for everybody <laughs> And let's see, what else can I tell them? If if anybody needs a bass bow, um, Mike <laughs> happens to be a really great bass bow maker. Um, so keep that in mind for your bass bowing needs. Um, I know you're not you're not displaying any of your bows right now because you're just no, plucking. You but... <laughs> and Paul can be found many places. Um, the bar, <laughs> the park. <laughs> we have a band together called Hawktail. We, we will be playing. I don't know how many of you guys are even in California, but we'll be playing out that way in um, February. Where? At the Freight. Nice. Um, and the Little Saint in uh, Hillsburg. And we're playing in Novato or Novato. I don't even know how to say that place. I've never been there before. And Felton. Um. Anyhow, that's a band that we have, and he also has a record label and like puts out records of other people that some that he's played on, and um, that's called Padiddle Records. So you can, if you want to like check out more of what he does, you can look that up. Yeah. Normally he plays the bass, <laughs> but he's also good at guitar. But I'm learning guitar. <laughs> and the three of us made an album together during COVID. That's like sort of silly, but it was fun, and it's called Impromptu Sessions Number Two. Um, one. Oh, sorry, one. Number one. <laughs> and it's me playing banjo and them both both playing basses um, with a lot of cool bass bowing on there. Check that out if you feel like it. Okay, and let's play an A. Um, okay, so I was thinking, these are just the kind of the ones that came to mind today. Um, the, Ed Haley's version of Rebel Raid, um, which I, I mean, I know it's different than the one that I the other one that I know, um, but maybe you guys know it already. Um, it's an A, obviously, and the B part goes to D, um, and it's he plays a really cool double stop, like a D7 thing. Um, yeah. Okay. And how does it start? Should I play it here or here? You should do whatever you want. I don't know how it goes. Um, um... No.
lines. Both of you. <laughs> That's a cool, wicked C natural. In there. Yeah, isn't it so good? The D, the D chord is like kind of epic. I learned. I, I first heard it from Kevin Martin at the Old Time Jam here. Kevin. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's a D chord. It's a it's a four chord, but he's fiddling the the flat seven. Can you play the D chord again? Yeah. It's not really anything unusual about it except just how strong it is. Yeah. Totally. Um, okay. I was thinking we could do chips and sauce. The Ira Bernstein tune, um, which I learned last year at the Old Time Jam in Johnson City um, from some of the students out there. So it starts on the F sharp minor chord, the sixth minor chord. Um, and then the B part has a really long five chord. Yes. I'm going capo two. Cool. And if you're in cross A, that's it's better. But I'm being lazy right now and just staying out of standard. Okay. South. <laughs> <laughs>
fun. Um, that was all I had planned. Um, should we should we uh, be done, or should we play one more to to end on? Love to have you play one more if you feel like it. Okay, cool. What what's the A tune that you already know? I don't know. Okay. Name a few. <laughs> um. Flannery's, like the, the other Flannery's. Is that really crooked? Maybe it is. Let's play something else. Buffalo Girls is what's coming to mind. Is that okay? Okay. Maybe a little faster on this one?
with us. Oh, that was so fun. Brittany, thanks. And uh, Paul and Mike and Brittany. It's really yeah. fun. Great. That really wonderful. Fun. Great selection of tunes, too. Cool. I'm glad you liked them. Yeah. yeah. Fun too. And we thank you, everybody, for coming. Oh, yeah, everybody. Thanks for coming. And next month on December 9th is Paul Brown and Terry McMurray leading the Slow Jam Fizz. So that should be super fun. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Great. Cool. Bye, everybody. Thanks again. Thanks Bye. so much. It was wonderful. Thank you.